Hey, you. Yeah, you. Do you want to learn how to fly and bounce around in VR chat like me? Well, let me teach you. All right, so to get started, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a VR headset, some full body tracking, and you're going to need some sweet VR controllers. You're also going to want to download uh, something called OVR Advanced Settings, which is going to be free on Steam, so make sure you grab that. Um, and you're going to want to boot into VR chat now. Um, so go ahead and do that. All right. Now, once you're in VR chat, um, you need to change some controller bindings around. So I'm going to show you that right now. We're just going to switch to my view. So here I am in VR chat. Um, and let me show you what we're working with. So. Here's advanced settings or OVR advanced settings. Make sure that that is installed. Uh, you might need to restart your headset in SteamVR for that to go into effect. Um, and advanced settings is how you can move your play space around. And you can also do cool things like fix your floor space in case it ever like floats up. Super annoying, you can recenter your space, but uh, what we want to do right now is change some of the bindings. So you can do this outside of VR. You can also do it inside of VR, which is what I like doing. To do that, um, go over to your regular settings menu. All right. Um, you can find it in this list, but this list is kind of annoying to use. Uh, so I usually... Um, first, I will show you this, but we're going to do... You just want to click back on this a couple times so you get to this old list. Um, and then it should be right at the top. So right here. You can click on that. Um, now, I have edited mine, but the one that I originally used was this one. Um, that one I have not tried, but I did use this. So it's called the Rantus Index Mover Bindings, which is essentially the one that I'm using. I just edited a little bit of stuff myself. Um, but it's essentially the same thing. So actually I can show you what I did. I believe uh, I will save mine first. Um, actually, why don't I just make public so you can find mine if you want to use the ones I'm using. Um, but you just, once you find one that you want to use, um, which is either going to be Rantus, or I guess you can technically try to find mine. It should say this one, I think. Or it'll say shared binding if you want to use it. Um, you can click on activate, and that should automatically go into effect. But I'm just going to go to this one. Alright, so that is for advanced settings. You also want to go into VR chat. Um, and actually you don't need to change this anymore, so except for your time. You only need to change that for advanced settings. All right. Um, now this is specifically for index controllers. So if you have another setup, like if you're using Vive once or you've rigged some way to get the Oculus to work, then I can't really help you because I am using index, which is the easiest thing to use here. All right, so after you do that, you want to go into settings, um, find the bindings thing. And this is the way that I have mine set up. It's what works for me. Um, so I have jump on the joystick click right here. Gesture toggle is on A because I don't like that new radial menu that they added in the last update, I think. And then I have none right here. Now, the way that I can jump around uh, let me close that. Oh, and to open the menu, I have it on the joystick click on this one. Um, so I have both B buttons will let me climb up. Um, and I can switch gravity on and off by uh, holding both the um, left B button and the right A button. So if I'm like in midair and I click both of those, that'll turn gravity on. Um, and then I can start like bouncing around. 
like this, um, which is fun. Um, and I can click that again to turn it off so I can the cover and emitter. Um, now to reset my play space, I have that on both touchpads. So if I click both of those, um, that will reset my play space to the ground so I can sit down and do whatever I want. Um, and then my gesture is on this because I like to do like a lot of things with animations. Um, I do the lat and the radial menu does nothing for me. So that's the way I have mine set up. Now, I forgot to mention this, but to turn the play space stuff on, you want to go into the motion setting and make sure that left hand is on, right hand is checked on, and then you want gravity to be checked on. Um, and that way the flying will work. Um, now, there's this isn't really part of the uh, play space thing, but there is a launch option that you can use, and I'll put that in the description of the video um, to make calibrating easier. So in the last update, I'm not going to do it right now, but they made avatar calibration for full body, like they put it into a T-pose, and it's kind of awkward to get into, so um, I have it on the old method, which uh, is just easier to set up. Um, and you can, you know, do that leg thing to uh, make your full body better. So, anyways, I hope this video was helpful for anyone that is wondering how to uh, fly around and jump around with your full body tracking. So, that's it. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.